In the heart of Zambia lurks a town where the sun never shines, even at noon. Welcome to the eerie town of Kitwe, a place where a shadowy veil mysteriously engulfs the land in perpetual gloom. This isn't a tale spun out of folklore, but a bone-chilling reality that baffles both locals and visitors alike. Yet this unexplainable darkness that swathes Kitwe is only a prelude to the series of spine-tingling enigmas waiting to be unraveled. But darkness is merely the tip of the iceberg in the unsettling mysteries of Zambia's small towns. The next town on our list, Chingola, is a place where the dead refuse to rest. In this seemingly quiet town, an unsettling symphony of whispers fills the air when darkness falls. Locals speak of ghostly apparitions, figures that disappear as quickly as they appear, leaving behind only a chilling echo of their presence. The tales are as varied as they are haunting. Some speak of shadows dancing on the outskirts of their vision. Others tell of spectral hands reaching out from the dark corners of their homes. The most chilling of all are the stories of eerie whispers seeping through the walls at night, voices that seem to be from another time, another place. Local legends suggest that these hauntings are the restless spirits of miners who met their untimely end in the town's copper mines, their spectral whispers echoing their past lives and tragedies. In Chingola, the line between the living and the dead is blurred. In the quiet town of Luansha, children have a way of vanishing into thin air. A chilling statement, yet sadly, an accurate depiction of the disturbing reality in this seemingly peaceful Zambian town. Over the years, Luansha has become infamous for a series of child disappearances, each as inexplicable as the one before. These aren't just ordinary missing cases. No, these are instances where children, under the watchful eyes of their parents, simply disappear, as if swallowed by the earth itself. The local community is left in a state of perpetual fear and confusion, desperately seeking answers and solace. Theories abound, from the logical to the downright bizarre. Some believe in a hidden criminal network, while others attribute these disappearances to supernatural forces, ancient curses, or even alien abductions. Yet none of these theories have been able to provide a definitive explanation, leaving the town gripped in an eerie mystery. Luantia, a place where innocence meets a grim fate. Indeed, a town where the laughter of children is often silenced by inexplicable disappearances. In Kabwe, there's a forest that locals dare not enter. This is a place where whispers of the unknown intertwine with the rustling leaves, creating a symphony of fear and intrigue. The forbidden forest of Kabwe, as it's ominously known, is the subject of numerous local legends, each more chilling than the last. Stories abound of unusual sightings and strange occurrences within its shadowy depths. Some speak of ghostly apparitions flickering among the trees, while others recount tales of eerie, disembodied voices echoing through the night. Still others claim to have encountered creatures so bizarre, they defy earthly explanation. Yet it's not just these spine-tingling tales that keep the locals at bay. There's an unsettling feeling that pervades the air, a sense of being watched by unseen eyes, of being an unwelcome guest in a world not meant for humans. The Forbidden Forest of Kabwe is more than just a woodland teeming with mysteries. In Kabwe, nature hides a sinister secret, Solwezi, a town under a centuries-old curse. This is not the tagline for a horror flick, but the reality for the inhabitants of Solwezi, a town that has been under the grip of an ancient curse for generations. The town's history is marred by an unending string of misfortunes, from inexplicable disasters to unceasing plagues, all believed to be the result of this relentless curse. Local legend tells of a disgraced ancestor who, in a fit of rage, cursed the town and its people. This curse, it is believed, has seeped into the very soil, influencing the fate of those who reside here. As the years rolled by, the curse and its effects have become an integral part of Solwezi's identity, a chilling reminder of the town's troubled past. The curse's influence is palpable, a spectral presence that looms over everyday life. In Solwezi, the past casts a long, haunting shadow. Chili Labambwe, a town where an ancient scream still echoes. Nestled in the heart of Zambia, 
This small town is home to a chilling auditory phenomenon. The locals, hardened by years of living amidst the peculiar, often speak of hearing a silent scream, a sound that isn't quite a sound, more like a ghostly residue of terror that lingers in the air. Theories abound, each more intriguing than the last. Some say it's the echo of a tribal war cry from a time long forgotten, forever imprinted on the very soul of the town. Others believe it's the anguished wail of a spirit, trapped between realms and forever bound to the land. The most spine-chilling theory, however, suggests it's the collective cry of the town's forebears, warning of an impending doom. Local legends, folklore, and whispered tales all try to explain this eerie occurrence. Yet the truth remains elusive, Chile La Bombue, a town where silence has a voice. And now, the most disturbing secret of all, hidden in the depths of Endola. This town, with its friendly faces and bustling markets, holds a chilling secret, a secret that has been whispered from generation to generation, echoing through the night, casting a shadow of fear over the hearts of the locals. In the heart of Endola, there's a tale, a tale of a monstrous creature. This is no ordinary creature, it's a beast of unspeakable horror, a creature that lurks in the crevices of the town's depths, hidden from the eyes of the unaware. Sightings have been rare, yet those who have seen it speak of an entity that defies description. It's a presence so terrifying, its mere mention sends shivers down the spine. These sightings have not been without consequence. The fear it instills in the locals is palpable. It's a fear that clings to the air, a fear that etches itself into the very fabric of Endola. The townsfolk live with the knowledge that somewhere in the darkness, the creature waits, its unseen eyes watching, its monstrous form lurking. This creature is not just a figment of folklore. It's a living, breathing embodiment of the terror that has gripped Endola, a symbol of the disturbing secret that the town has been forced to carry for generations. In Endola, fear has a name, and it lurks in the shadows.